Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Wright. Um, and I want to share, um, I'm kind of a student of the cause of life edema. Um, and I, for me, it's very interesting to follow the research. And so I want to, I want to just do a presentation. I was asked by the uh, Venus and Lymphatic Society to um, uh, prepare a presentation. And I want to, sh uh, on the cause of, of lipedema and lymphedema. And I want to share uh, my thoughts and, and, and research on the cause of lipedema. So um, th thank you. Uh, I, ho I hope this is interesting for you. So what is lipedema? Uh, lipedema is a progressive connective tissue disease uh, that affects the hypodermis. So that's the subcutaneous tissue. Um, so all of the hypodermis uh, of the extremities. Um, and it causes pain, tenderness, and swelling. Untreated lipedema can lead to lymphatic impairment and disability. But lipedema and lymphedema are separate diseases. And I'll, I'll go into that a little more. Um, and uh, so it's, and again, um, so sometimes it's called a subcutaneous adipose uh, tissue disease. And sometimes, you know, we talk about the hypodermis um, but it's more than just the adipose cells are clearly involved. So, you know, this is the characteristic uh, lipedema legs, the, the colamine and overhanging with the cuffing. And again, you can see here uh, the, the uh, disproportionate accumulation on the thighs compared to the waist. It's a classic lipedema. So here are four possible causes uh, and, and and the research kind of comes back to these uh, things. So hormone, hormone imbalances. So uh, the best candidate for a hormonal cause actually is uh, was done uh, work by Sandro Michelini, uh, and he saw that there was a um, uh, he he found a a family of women with lipedema who uh, have aldoketoreductase gene deficiency. So uh, aldo keto keto reductase is is um, um, responsible for um, for the metabolism or breaking down of progesterone. So uh, this leads to excess um, excess progesterone effect, and I'm going to get into that a little more how that uh, goes along. So, uh, um, but basically, progesterone is the hormone of pregnancy. Um, and and fat, uh, there's uh, fat deposition and swelling uh, are caused by uh, progesterone or caused during pregnancy for by progesterone. Um, and then there's uh, a, a line of research about ad, abnormal adipose uh, cell biology. Um, so uh, this is um, the so Ishak and and um, a, a group of Australian researchers uh, have found. Uh, that uh, differences in gene expression in the uh, adipose cells, uh, and, and including um, and, and different lipid metabolism, uh, different metabolic profiles, and then their stem cells uh, have uh, a, a, a much more aggressive replication. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll get a little more into that. Uh, and then there's a lot of research uh, about. Uh, with loose connective tissue. So, um, so you know, lipedema is a connective tissue dis disease, and uh, there are there are specifically there are uh, studies showing um, that there's uh, increased space in the uh, inter interstitial space and in, in the vasculatures are are dilated. Uh, that that's a, a work that Karen Herbst has, has done. Um, and then finally, there's uh, research on microvascular inflammation, or the proteins involved in inflammation are uh, increased. And uh, there's also research about perivascular macrophages. So I'll get into that uh, a little more. Um, and that. So here's the alpha keto reductase gene. So. Um, you, this is the again the enzyme that breaks down uh, progesterone, 
And um, so I'll talk a little more about progesterone. Um, as I mentioned, it, it, it does uh, lead to fat deposition and um, but also it is responsible for loosening of connective tissues. Um, so during um, during pregnancy, the uh, progesterone leads as allows the, uh, the pelvis and the ligaments in the pelvis to expand. Um, and uh, as well as and it's also responsible for um, accumulation of fluid and uh, uh, more in the uh, in the lower extremities than than and abdomen than in uh, the upper extremities. And that's that's uh, consistent with what we see with lipedema. Um, so it's possible that that lipedema is a um, is is caused by the by uh, uh, altered metabolism of progesterone. Um, and so that's that's a very interesting uh, thing. And it's helpful uh, to look, you know, kind of look at these um, individually. So I'm going to go to the next one. So this is from um, uh, Ishak and uh, Rami Cheyenne, um, uh, that Australian group. Um, and this is the replication um, of um, adipose-derived stem cells. So these are, uh, so uh, adipose tissue um, has um, stem cells or mesenchymal stem cells that then can become fat cells or, um, or other types of connective tissue. Um, and, um, and they're all through the hypodermis and they're uh, what, so their replication and then their commitment to become uh, adipose cells or, or uh, fibrous uh, cells is what, uh, um, is it, what determines the size of the hypodermis or subcutaneous tissue. Uh, um, and so in women with lipedema, um, we're seeing that they're, uh, they're these adipose derived stem cells, um, they are, their genes are turned on to replicate much more rapidly than normal, uh, normal adipose, uh, uh, stem cells. Um, this is, uh, so this is about the tissue laxity. This is, this is from a paper from, uh, Herbst and Michael Schwartz. Um, and, uh, they, are here, I'm going to trace, this is a lumen of a vessel. Um, and, and you can see here that the, um, well, you you may not look at a lot of these, but this is an H and E stain. And you can see that the, um, this is a very large, um, capillary in, um, in, in, a, in, uh, the, uh, connective tissue of, from a, a lady with, um, stage one lipedema. And then in stage three, you have this very large um, 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 uh, capillary uh, in the, um, and this is, so this is, uh, this is pro fibrous protein um, um, on either side of this larger uh, ca capillary. And th these are just quite, quite large. Um, and this, and, and there's more space in them. And so this dilation and, stretched out tissue uh, in the vasculature is um, quite quite unique for uh, lipedema. Um, so okay. Now finally, um, we're getting uh, there's some uh, these are some newer studies showing uh, some vascular uh, uh, differences. So uh, so if you look at this is looking at platelet transcription. Um, and uh, obesity versus li lipedema, and they're they're um, you know BMI matched, and 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 so the uh, there's a heat map, so that is you know the genes that are turned on, they're replicating, and so um, uh, you know the darker the color, the more replication, um, and um, and so uh, there is you know marked differences in uh, what uh, what proteins uh, the platelets uh, are tra uh, are transcribing um, uh, and so we see uh, this is all we also see things like the, you know um, at Stanford they did uh, with um, uh, they did some nice work showing increased PF4 and this is seen these um, platelet 
um, um, change, these platelet changes and the in elevated PF4 is seen in both lipedema and in lymphedema. And it is, um, we also, you know, there's recent studies showing the increased uh, rate of DVTs in women with uh, lipedema and lymphedema. And, and this, this is, uh, uh, this is one of the factors that goes into the increased risk for, for blood clots and vascular inflammation um, is this uh, altered platelet transcription uh, genes. Um, and so wanted to, um, so uh, let's talk about uh, complications, of lipedema, so immobility, uh, disability or uh, inability to do certain activities of daily living, except, uh, um, related to impairments uh, and and just pain, um, secondary lymph lymphedema, and then orthopedic uh, um, changes, uh, uh, including uh, changes to the hip, knee, and, and ankle. Um, so, um, so in conclusion, the exact cause of lipedema is not known, but current research is pointing to progesterone metabolism connective tissue laxity, uh, changes, uh, changed adipose cell biology, and vascular abnormalities. And, and they actually can be overlapping. So they're, so uh, as, I, as, I, as I mentioned, like the progesterone can, um, does cause tissue lax, connective tissue laxity. Um, the, um, the vascular abnormalities uh, can also affect uh, adipose cell biology. Um, and, and so they are all pointing towards a direction, but we don't know exactly the exact cause at this time. And there may be multiple causes. There may be several causes of lipedema and, um, and they, and each of these could be a different, um, cause for the presentation that, uh, uh the clinical presentation of lipedema. So I, I really find this interesting. I hope you did too. And uh, thank you for your attention.